What breaks you down? What makes you weak? Does this rule your life? How you walk around all day? People drag you down only because they are beneath you. Be the person that when your feet hit the floor, the devil says, crap, he's up. People have tough times when they get knocked down and struggle to get up. But will you stay down? Will you let it rule your life? Get up, no, jump up. Be the one that brick walls fear because they are an obstacle, an obstacle that can be broken. I broke my jaw, I pulled a quad, I lost my memory from a concussion. I have fought injuries, and I have won. September 25th, 2015. In the middle of my senior year of football, we were playing for sales, and just like any other game, we were determined to win. Just nine plays into the fifth game of the season, I broke my jaw in two places after crushing hip from my blind side. I still remember rolling on the ground and coach yelling at me to get up. I did. I was not sure what had happened, but I knew something was wrong. There was a gap in between my teeth that had not been there before and warm blood running from my mouth. I couldn't speak and everything came out like a mumble. Coach was looking for me already and I was not sure of the full extent of my injury. So without thinking, I went back into the game. We were still on defense and we needed to stop Versailles from driving any further down the field. I was getting play calls from the sideline that had to relay to the other players, but I could not speak. Every play after that, I felt like I was in slow motion. Every second dragged on for five seconds. Three plays later, we stopped for sales on fourth down, and I could finally get off the sidelines to really see how bad I was. I thought for sure I had lost my tooth, but it turns out that that was the least of my worries. I was sent to the hospital where I waited for the final results of my injury. I had broken my jaw in two places and had to wait till morning for the operation. That was the longest slide night of my life, having to lie in a hospital bed with a broken jaw that kept you awake with no food or drink because you don't want anything in your stomach before an operation. That was the last time the next morning. I had my operation for the next four months. I had to eat every meal out of a straw and speak through my teeth. When something bad happens, you have three choices. One, you can let it define you. Two, you can let it destroy you. And three, you can let it strengthen you. I only missed one football game because of that broken jaw, yet kicking for a team was all I could. Now about how we fall, it's about how we rise again. Everyone must overcome every, every obstacle and not bend or break to these challenges. Never stop pushing yourself to become something great. This, I believe.